Well, it's a pretty great day, but this is an absolutely stunning boat. She's a 60-foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 2012 by Stoke on Trent Boat Builders. And I don't actually think I'm exaggerating when I say she looks and feels new. She's been so well looked after. She was completely repainted in November 2021. She has two cratch covers, one for summer, one for winter. The summer one, which is on here, is, is quite new. She was last blacked in August 2021. She had six new anodes put on her at the same time. And the engine was serviced in March 2022. It's not done a lot of hours since. Look at the paintwork. You can see my reflection there. These windows have slider openers at the top, but there are insertable hoppers, so you can still have the windows open if it's raining. Absolutely beautiful paintwork. The gas bottles are in the uh, forward locker there. There's two of those, 13 kilos. And look at that tunnel lamp. It's an imitation or replica of France's lamp. It's really beautiful. There's a cover for that as well, actually, just to keep it looking nice keep the elements off it the well deck itself four foot ten it's a fold down table that folds back up and the glazed cratch board the water tanks under my feet here it's stainless steel 450 liters there is a water filter on the ga as a tap in the galley that folds up just like that storage under these bench seats around the outside of the well deck super comfy cushions actually lovely social space Glazed front doors, and in we go. She's fitted out in ash, ash tongue and groove to the ceilings and cabin sides, and and vertical ash tongue and groove below the gunnels. Regular condition, more so squirrel solid fuel stove that was new in 2018. Lots of shelves under the gunnels here. That's a 32 inch smart TV. There is a Humax, Humax free sat box and a satellite dish. That's the free sat. Decent sized cupboard under here. There's a Huawei Wi Fi router on board as well. These are stressless captain's chairs with footstools. Lovely table in between the two of them. And a glasses cabinet there with a cupboard underneath. It's carpeted in here, feels very cosy. The saloon's 11 and a half feet long, so decent space. Really lovely room. It's very light actually this boat. Decent sized windows. Head height on the boat, six foot four. All the lights are LED on dimmer switches. And the galley's next. Very spacious, eight feet four inches long. There's a slimline dishwasher here. It's got all the tricks and toys this boat. The worktops are granite. And there's an enormous amount of storage in this kitchen. Three drawers here, the bottom one's very deep, or very tall I should say. There's a four burner gas hob set into the granite there with some shelves next to it. It's a Neff four burner gas hob and there's an eye level oven here, squeaky clean, there's a belling double oven and grill, or oven and grill I should say. Underneath that is the washing machine. That was new in 2016. And there's the view down the galley. Absolutely beautiful this boat. Side hatch there, there are some perspex inserts to keep the rain out. Very good use of space under the side hatch there. The floor in here as well is tiled. It's tiled in here in the um, bathroom and then carpeted elsewhere. Some more drawers on this side. Very good space underneath. And next to those is the fridge. That's a 24 volt shoreline fridge with an ice box. And there is actually a separate freezer on board. We'll see that in a minute. So there we go. Doing about turn. Oh, hold on, I forgot to show you the freezer. It's under the dinette here and it's accessed through this hatch here. It's a 12 volt angle chest freezer. That was new in 2020. Pretty nicely squirreled away there. 
But also a safe under this dinette. This is a lovely arrangement. I love the dinettes after the galley. It's a separate dining room, if you like. It does drop down and make into a double berth. Cupboards over, mirrors above each bench seat. And that's really clever, isn't it? Look at that. That's for putting your laptop on in if you're not using it. Radiator opposite with some useful shelves. Again, very light in here. And down the corridor we go. This is like an airing cupboard, I suppose. Hanging rail. Oh, hot water tanks in there. Hot water's heated by the engine, the diesel fired central heating system, or an immersion heater. There's the perspex screen for the side hatch. Central heating's a Makuni system. These are ingenious, these blinds. You can put them up. Or you can do them the other way. I suppose it depends on where the sun is. If, if it's in, in your eyes, you can put the curtain wherever you want. Here's the bathroom. The loo itself is a Vetus pump out. There's a large holding tank, 350 litres. Ceramic basin, heated towel rail, some very generous linen shelves there. And the shower cubicle next to those. There's a light above the shower. And the bedrooms last. Another radiator in here. The bed itself measures six foot three long. Sorry, six foot six long, four foot six wide. Six drawers underneath. The dinette, by the way, measures up when it's made as a bed is six foot three by four foot. A reading light over the pillow end and a decent sized cupboard. The bedroom itself's decent size, ten feet long. And at the foot of the bed, there's a single wardrobe I'll call it here with a dressing mirror on the inside of the door and a little storage space above that and behind this door is a double wardrobe with another dressing mirror on the inside of that left hand door storage under the step there and up we go into the engine room. Neatly arranged electrics. Right in here is your tr uh, travel power, three and a half kilowatt travel power generator. That was new in 2015, so that gives you 240 volts when the engine's running. There's also a th three kilowatt inverter charger, that's a Victron. Phoenix MultiPlus, that's a really useful little stool for sitting on when you're steering. And 12 volt systems come from four 200 amp hour AGM domestic batteries and one starter. The domestic batteries were new in 2022. The engine's in here, it's a Beta 43. Super quiet actually when it's running. It's got a hospital silencer, but it's very quiet. Very clean and tidy in there. And there's the view from the helm. She does have a bow thruster, 90, uh, 75 kgf Vetus. Two batteries for that up in the front of the boat. A 100 amp alternator to the domestic battery that was new in 2020 and a 45 amp to the starter love this boat if we were ready to buy you wouldn't be watching it yourselves it's got an anchor chain and ropes there's also a summons bell i haven't mentioned there's a button <laughs> there's a button on the stern deck to summon the galley if you fancy a cup of tea or something So there we go, absolutely stunning boat, somewhere else. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.